Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So today we're doing the 10th video here on nuclear chemistry. So let's get started. Bam! So we're going to be talking about the methods of detecting radiation here today. So number one, we've got three of them. Number one are photographic plates, and that's with either silver bromide or silver chloride. So if you've ever taken a photo with film before, film, not a digital, but film, then that's typically using silver chloride. The grain size is uh, either large or small, depending on if the film is very sensitive and not very sensitive, okay? Um, and fogging of photographic plates led to the discovery of radioactivity a long time ago. Both beta and gamma emissions expose film, okay? Number two are scint is a scintillation counter, okay? Um, for a scintillation counter, if a fluorescent screen like a zinc uh, sulfide is exposed to radioactivity, then small flashes of light, those are scintillations, are observed, enabling the counting of emissions, Okay, so this is one method of detecting very low uh, types of radioactivity that are really hard to detect with a, something like a Geiger counter. Okay, you have to do what's called a swipe test, put that into a scintillation vial with scintillation fluid, put it into a scintillation counter machine, and then it will count the number of counts for you already for you. So you don't have to go there with a clicker or anything. Okay, number three is a Geiger counter. I already just mentioned that. And that detects particles that produce ions, enabling the detection of individual particles, but not the type of radiation. So both beta, high energy beta particles and gamma emissions will uh, be detected with a Geiger counter. Alpha particles will not, okay, um, for the most part, because they don't travel very far. Okay, so if you see in any of those movies or something like that, someone with some kind of machine that goes, <laughs> that's a Geiger counter. Okay, um, that was the next video, and here is another hat. Okay, cool. I think this is one of the, bo the ancient dinosaurs that is now extinct, unless you can find one. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.